get ready with me for school um this is gonna be a different get ready with me because i actually can't do my makeup i'm literally like still in my pajamas i want to go to bed um yeah my teacher like threatened me with a makeup wipe she's like i will come with a wipe to your face tomorrow if you wear if you wear this much makeup and i was like okay first of all like my makeup isn't even that bad. It looks pretty natural. I feel like we have so many bigger things to worry about in the world than like my makeup, but it's fine. I think I'm just not gonna wear as much powder. I don't know, it's so annoying. Like, I just, why can't you just let me live? Like, it's not distracting me. I do better when I feel I look good. I'm literally looking through my makeup, like figuring out what to do next. I feel like I can't do half the stuff I usually do. Okay, we're gonna go in with Say and some bronzing drops. Can I do that? Can I look tan? I don't know. Uh, yesterday, my mom, I came home and she was like, did you fake tan? I had not fake tanned, but thank you, mom. Biggest compliment. What if my school calls me out for the fake tan? I feel like they need to start doing that though. Some people's fake tan, my lord. I'm really speaking my truth right now because everyone follows me, but guys, we need to figure out the fake tan situation. I'm sorry, it's so bad. It's so bad. Um, some girls also got called out for their eyelashes, their fake eyelashes. I feel like that's valid too. I'm not saying you can't have fake eyelashes, just some of these are really, really aggressive. I'm sorry, like, I feel like if you're wearing that, you deserve to get called out for it. Okay, my acne scars are still showing, so, you know, it's still natural. My lips also look white, so. Guys, I'm not kidding. Yesterday, my teacher, I put lip gloss on, and I had some lip liner on. My lips are naturally pretty pigmented and like big. Um, she made me kiss the lip gloss off my lips onto my hand in the middle of assembly in front of her and wipe it on my leg. Are you kidding me? That is literally the most humbling thing. Do you see how sparingly I'm putting this on? Okay, I just did like clear brow gel. It looks pretty fine, right? I'm getting you guys to be the judge of this because I'm actually not sure. That looks fine, right? It's not too much. I think it's fine. I feel like blush and bronzer are my biggest downfall, so we're gonna have to go sparingly on this. Just like a little. I might have some color in me, but obviously not too much. That's fine, right? This is like a pretty natural color. Could wear the right pink one. I feel like that's okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I think I might, I think I'll be okay with this. I don't, can I put powder on? Is that allowed? This is the makeup bag that's in my school bag. And it's literally just like lip products and blush. So I guess I'm not allowed to bring that anymore. But here's the powder. I feel like if I just use a little under my eyes, it's fine. Okay, those are my eyelashes. They don't look full, so I think it's fine. I literally shouldn't be stressing about this. I have so many more things to be stressed about, like my university or like what i'm gonna do after school or how i'm gonna do in the hsc i could be stressing about that but i'm stressing about how much mascara i'm wearing and then i'm just gonna use that foundation like took all the color out of me so i'm gonna use this nars blush in um oop, in orgasm in my brush i feel like i'll be fine i'll just go sparingly on this too i also do need some bronzer oh my god i tell myself i'm gonna do natural and then i just don't feel pretty. No, wait, I need this. Okay, lip balm. I'm putting lip balm on. I know some of my teachers actually watch me, so what, should we put lip balm on? Okay, that looks natural, right? Yeah, it's fine, okay. Get ready with me for my first official day of school. Yesterday I had school, but it wasn't like a proper day of learning. We basically just had like this talk from this guy all day about like our last year of school and like being in year 12 and stuff. But today we actually have like a full day of like learning and like actual subjects. We're all wearing pigtails today to school just for the nostalgia. It's actually going to be so cute. Like I'm so excited to see everyone in pigtails, but I also feel like I might feel a little bit embarrassed in them, but I'm actually excited for today. I have really good classes. My first lesson is business and I'm like meeting my new teacher today that like no one's ever met before. And then I have a free and then I have PE. So like, it's gonna be a really good day. I wish that I had PE in the middle of the day so that I could just go home because I've literally got all my frees in the middle of the day, which sucks so much. But I feel like at the end of the day, it could kind of be a good thing because I'm actually gonna like be doing my schoolwork in my frees. Cause if I had my frees at home, I guarantee you I would not be getting anything done. If I wanna put clear mascara on today or like 
black mascara. I just put a little bit of mascara on today just because we're going to be taking photos and then I probably won't like put it on for a while because I hate how it just like goes everywhere and like gives you panda eyes at school. Okay, let's do my hair. I really hope that this worked out because otherwise I will be really, really upset. Okay, let me do the pigtails. I feel crazy. Look at my hair. Anyways, this is the hair. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Get ready for me to go meet Selena Gomez. Okay, so I am in New York once again with Rare Beauty. And I'm so excited and happy to be here because y'all know how much I love New York City. All right, we've got a full day planned. So I'm putting on a lot of primer because my makeup has to stay on all day. Also, I think I'm going to make a separate video for my outfit because I am really proud with the outfit that I came up with. I was actually running around all of Soho yesterday trying to find the perfect outfit. Because I literally just found out I don't have any nice clothes for events. So I think I'll do a little get dressed with me video. Okay, I already covered it up a little bit with the flawless filter, but I literally woke up this morning looking like Rudolph. Don't know if y'all can see, but I have a little pimple right over here. And then my face started getting itchy like 10 minutes ago. Like the only time I need my skin to not act up. I was very excited for today. Like sometimes I cannot believe life is real. We are also actually switching hotels right after the event. And it is at this super cute and cozy hotel and I'm so excited. I also don't know if I want to leave my hair down just like this or clip it back. I'm also mixing at two different blush shades today from Rare Beauty. Hopefully this doesn't look too crazy. Oh, nothing a little beauty blender can't fix. I didn't bring a powder puff, so I'm gonna attempt to bake with a beauty blender. Okay, as that's baking, I'm doing brows. My eyebrows have been so itchy recently. Is that weird? Okay, I'm going in with liquid highlight for the cheekbones. Also, a lot of you guys thought the girl I met yesterday was Nadej. It was not. It was literally one of my friends that I've never met before. But it is someone that I've known for a really, really long time. Okay, for lip liner, I'm using Ruby's lip liner in the shade Humble. This is actually my first time trying the lip liner. Look at that difference from the top lip already. Okay, and then I'm going in with the lip oil in the shade Serenity. Oh, that is a gorgeous shade. Okay, makeup is done. Come back for the outfit video. Bye, guys. Get ready with me for bed. Well, I tell you guys some of the weird things. I was scared of as a child. Okay, so for a solid, like, eight years of my life, I did not sleep any other way but directly on my back. Do you want to know the reason? The reason why I tortured myself? I was convinced that there was a witch. A mini witch. Like, you know the tooth fairy? Okay, so same concept. But it was a witch with a pitchfork that if I slept on my side, like, she would come underneath me. So if I slept on my side and I rolled over, she would get me with the pitchfork. I was terrified. Also, the idea of, like you know really freaked me out which like as it should because i was a child but i want to tell you guys why i was scared i was scared to like from old age because i was convinced that if i went to heaven if i went to heaven and i was old that i wouldn't be able to fly as good as as if i was young so i literally used to cry to my mom about when i was old because i didn't <laughs> I didn't want to be able to not fly. I was not vibing with the whole concept. I didn't get it at all. Okay, this one, I feel like this one's kind of a universal experience. One time I was playing in the pool with my friend Owen when we were really young. This was actually when I was filming Daddy's Home. And the hotel we were staying at had this pool. And I remember he had told me, he literally told me, he was like, I watched this movie about like this sea monster that was in a pool. And he was like, can you imagine like if there's one in this pool? I was terrified, geeked, freaked, like literally freaked out. And I remember being, I was like, why would you say that? Like, why would you tell me that right now? To this day, if I'm like the last one in a pool, nope, like that's terrifying. When I was younger in general, I was just very paranoid. But the weirdest thing was that the, instead of like sleeping with my door closed, I could not sleep with it closed. It had to be opened because I felt like if someone was to, you know, come in my room, then my door's open. I can escape, which, I mean, it made sense, but that idea had its faults because how would they have gotten in without opening the door? I don't know. Okay, this last one, I must have been watching like TV or something, some weird show. Actually, me and my mom used to watch Dateline together like all the time. And so when I was like in the car with my brother and sister, I was like, you guys cannot put your hands on the car window because your fingerprints are going to go on it. And then someone's going to try and take your identity. Like they're going to be able to find you from your fingerprints. And it genuinely would bother me so much. Like I would scream at my brother and sister being like, you can't put your hands there. Like they're going to get you. I was convinced. My light just died and it's late. So I'm going to go to bed.
Good night, guys. Hi, guys. Get ready with me for school. I'm literally completely out of my Fenty Skin Toner, and this is my absolute favorite toner. So I've been having to use this Laneige Water Cream one, or Cream Skin one. I don't know. And it's good, but I just really miss my Fenty one. And I haven't been to Sephora in literally so long. I'm running out of literally all my products, like literally, especially my skincare. Everything is nearly empty. Someone asked which ordinary serum this is, and it's the Salicylic Acid one. Anyways, even though it is Tuesday, I don't have any tests today, so that does make this day a little easier. Okay, last time my skincare routine is just some sunscreen and moisturizer. I've been feeling like such a hobo at school lately. I literally wear sweats every single day. But you know what? You just gotta do what makes you comfy. And if that's looking like a hobo every day, I'm gonna rock it. I'm gonna just go blend. I mean, rub in this primer. Guys, I literally swear by this stuff. Like, my brows do not move when I use this glue. They actually stay in place all day. I had this brow glue in, and I hadn't retouched it from, like, um, 6.30 a.m., to 9 15 p.m and my brows were still like locked in place okay brows are done and i am definitely putting my hair up today because i didn't wash it last night and it's actually looking horrendous obviously i'm also basically out of my maybelline concealer and this is literally so sad okay i'm gonna curl my lashes because i'm probably not gonna wear mascara today but i'm probably gonna do a little bit of some brow lift in them just so it stays like that Okay, so I'll be back once I'm done with both my lashes. Okay, anyways, lashes are done, so I'm just gonna go do my hair now. Okay, that's it. Bye, guys. It's 2024. I think we can all agree that commenting on someone's body is not cute. Like, good or bad, I feel like it's just such a dangerous territory to be entering. I literally don't know a single person who hasn't struggled with their body image, even if it's just, like, the slightest bit. And commenting on it can seriously fuck with someone's head so bad like it is so like mentally damaging and i don't think anyone should go through that at all someone dm me the other day and was like can you talk about like asian hate and basically how normalized it is and i was like yes because literally a few months ago okay hold on people comment shit on my post all the times like the trolls are everywhere but a few months ago i was looking through my comments and someone called me a fucking slur like the asian slur and so I click on her account and it's a little, ele like, max 11 years old. Like, how are you 11 years old and commenting that? Like, when I was 11, I didn't even know racial slurs, like, existed. Like, I was shook. That's the type of comment I'd expect from, like, a middle-aged white man. But it came from a little nine-year-old girl. Like, I am telling you, kids are getting meaner and meaner these days. My little cousin doesn't even want to talk to me. To be fair, he did call me fat, so I ghosted him for, like, two years. But that's besides the point. Like, people on the internet are just getting way too comfortable these days. Also, tell me why when someone posts a TikTok, especially girls, and if they have, like, the slightest little flaw, the whole entire comment section is like, oh, that's not- I fucking hate that comment. Like, literally- Find something better to do. If you have nothing nice to say, then don't say it at all. And I feel like that's a really big reason why a lot of girls really want to get into social media, want to do like get ready with me's, but they're just scared for this exact reason. Thankfully, TikTok like filters out a lot of nasty comments. Like they just do it automatically because don't even get me started on Instagram reels. Like I stay away from Instagram reels. But honestly though, at the end of the day, you can never win with the internet. Like people will envy you for all like the good things you have in life. Like just because someone's successful and thriving in life doesn't mean you have to be a hater. Literally every time a brand does something nice for me, the whole comment section is always like, "Ugh, she's so spoiled. Despite the fact that I'm always saying thank you, always expressing how grateful I am. Like I always talk about how these brands are always spoiling me to the max, which I'm literally so thankful and grateful for. Like this life in general. That's what I mean by like, you can never win with the internet. But at the end of the day, you're down here for being a hater and being miserable and having nothing to do with your life other than shit on someone. And I'm up here. <laughs> they hate you because they ain't you. My boyfriend sends me my own videos and for the longest time, I never asked him about it, but I thought it was really weird. I was like, why are you doing that? But I just didn't question him. I guess I just didn't really put two and two together. But recently he brought it up and was like, do you not notice that I always send you your videos? And I was like, yeah, I do. Why do you do that? And guys, it's actually the sweetest thing ever. He sends me my videos every single time because he wants my videos to get more engagement so they get more views. 
granted they don't but it's like the thought that counts like i think that's so so sweet your partner should never make you feel embarrassed for what you post and also get a man that supports you in everything that you do because never once has he been like okay that was really cringy or like even if it was i just don't feel like i don't feel like you'd tell me and vice versa like i wouldn't do that for him like support each other in your guys's little hustles actually this is not really a hustle but you know what i mean like in your little like hobbies i feel like that's really important here's a list of things i thought were going to be a lot bigger of a problem as a kid than they ended up being please tell me if you guys can relate to any of these or if you have any others and i'll make a part two like why did i think my literal cause of death was going to be getting caught in quicksand literally couldn't even tell you of quicksands in america but i blame this on playing mario kart with my siblings when i was younger because there was this episode where your car would get stuck in quicksand why couldn't i ride a roller coaster without thinking my hair was gonna get stuck and like rip my face off not gonna lie i think this was a story on the news when i was younger and that's where i saw it and i just thought it's gonna happen to me not to mention the roller coaster people would always be like make sure your hair's pulled up like okay this one might be a little religious but i was so scared that somebody was going to come up to me and be like do you believe in jesus and if i said yes i was going to be like i think it's because in christianity it's like talked about that there's end times and things are going to get really bad and i was like just so scared of that happening the literal fear that bath drains gave me i just want to know who i thought was going to fit up the drain while i was taking a bath this fear definitely matured into me thinking there's literally cameras every time i go stay at an airbnb i don't know if this one's because orange in the new black was like popping off when i was younger orange is the new black i don't know i didn't watch it but i was so scared of going to jail this went into high school and one day my friend was like you're so scared of like all the things that would happen to you in prison but you're not gonna go to prison i even remember asking my dad when i was younger if like there's a statistic on the amount of people who are wrongly convicted like why would i be wrongly convicted like this is literally only half of it. I have like so many more fears. So if you guys have some, comment them below. And if I relate, I'll include them in part two. There's no way it is this early. I actually cannot function. It's like 6 a.m. right now. And I have school camp today. Really do not want to go. Oh my gosh. I'm so tired. I've got to be at school at 7.30 in the morning. That's why I'm up so early. I didn't dry my hair last night before I went to bed. So it's a little bit like wavy. I packed up a bunch of my shit last night before I went to bed. So I feel like there's stuff in here I need. Basically, today I'm going on a camp. It's only for one night. But the actual camp started on Tuesday and it ends on Friday. But we're going up on Wednesday until Thursday. There's like eight of us and it's because we're all um, house captains. And it's survivor camp and it's literally the best camp that I think I've ever been on. I just need to brush my brows like up. I really can't be sitting on the bus for that long. I think it's like a two hour bus trip. I'm so happy that like I'm allowed my phone there because usually like you're not allowed your phone on camps. So like the year tens can't have their phones, but I'm so glad that I can have my phone because I actually have nomophobia. Like I'm being so for real. Actually kind of bad. Maybe it would be good for me to go without my phone for like two days, but I haven't even really finished packing. I need to organize my duffel bag before like it gets too messy. Bye guys. It is actually so early and I'm so tired. Hey guys, so with me for school. I actually have to leave here in like five minutes. I woke up super late today because I didn't hear my alarm and my mom even called me and I didn't even hear. So bro came into my room at like 7.20 and she's like, I called you seven times. Bro called me one time. But it's whatever. I think I have my morning elective today. And then I also have to present my grad speech, which is like later on in the day. I also have a fat pimple right there, but I'm just gonna ignore it. Oh my god, how could I forget? I have lunch detention today. So basically we call it like fun tension because it's a punishment and yeah I can't do a bunch of tension because of what happened last week. Hopefully I don't have a lot of homework this week and it's like a chill week. Oh wait actually I think I might have a science test. I also have a social study. Oh my god. I also have a social studies test so I don't even know. I don't know. Okay I'm going to use this under and then I'm going to put on my star glow over. So yeah, I'm so happy I don't have PE today because of grad speeches. And then tomorrow I don't have my rotation, which is computer science. And I, I mean, yeah, I don't, I, I hate that rotation. Because basically in a year we have four rotations that are like basically mandatory to take. It's theater, SEL, and then art, and then computer science. And for me, I have computer science last. And I hate having it last. Okay, now I'm going to put some star glow. I'm just going to put it there, and there, and then blend. So the base is super glowy. Gonna blend it in with this. It's 7.35 and I started this at 7.30, so we're literally on track. Okay, now I have to like sprint downstairs. Okay, thanks for watching. 
Hey guys, get ready with me for school. My hair, like I look like a poodle. Whenever I do my heatless curls, they always look like this in the beginning and then by the end of the day, my hair is like pin straight again. So I don't really know what to do about that, but whatever. Okay, also I will brush out the curls at the end, don't worry. Also, I have a science test today and I was studying like all night, but I still don't feel ready. Like, you know those days where like the information just like does not stay in your head? I'm so thankful though because my science class is fourth period, which is after lunch, so at least I have like lunch to study oh also you guys i lost my phone at my school yesterday so little story time about that okay so basically um i left my phone like i thought i left my phone in the cafeteria like after lunch so i went to go check after and it wasn't there and i went to the bathroom like after lunch like after i was eating in the cafeteria there's a hair on there um and it wasn't there and my like okay it's a really long story of how I got it back, but long story short, it fell in the garbage. My phone fell in the garbage in the bathroom because I, I was, like, touching up my makeup and my stuff was, like, on the sink, but, like, right beside the garbage. So I guess somehow my phone went in there and I didn't notice. So then we were, like, trying to track my phone and, like, it was pinging in the garbage can outside and then we had to, like, oh, it's this whole thing. I'm just, like, so glad that I got my phone back. Like, I know that sounds so dramatic, like, when people lose their phone and they're freaking out, but, like, I didn't care about not having a phone. I cared about, like, all my photos and stuff. Like, I would not be able to live without my photos. Okay, also, I saw someone on TikTok who had a Dior bracelet, and so I just went to go see the price, and it's $700 for one bracelet. And, like, it wasn't even, like, gold or anything. Either way, though, $700 for a bracelet is, like, a little bit much. Okay, this is so weird. Like, I'm normally running so late, and I still have 20 minutes until I have to go. And my hair's done, and my outfit's picked, and I'm almost finished my makeup. Okay, well, I'm not almost finished my makeup. Like, you guys get what I'm trying to say here. Okay, I feel like not enough people talk about this shade of the Rare Beauty Blush. It's in the shade Truth, and it's, like, my favorite. It's, like, really dark, but it's so pretty. I definitely need to get the big size of this when I run out because it's, like, my favorite thing ever. Also, if you've never tried mixing your blush and your highlighter, like, together before you blend, like, I swear it makes the biggest difference because, like, the highlighter doesn't look super, like, streaky or, like, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, it just looks so much more, like, natural. Like, hold on, let me blend it and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, I put a little bit too much blush, but, like, if you look, you can just see, like, the nice glow that, like, the highlighter gives, but, like, without looking too much, you know? I don't know. I feel very passionately about this combo. Like, it's so good. Anyways, I'm just gonna set my concealer now. Okay, now I'm just curling my lashes. It looks really scary when I curl my lashes, but whatever. Okay, for mascara, I'm just using Sky High. Okay, I'm just doing some highlighter on my inner corners and my nose. Okay, I think for my brows, I'm just gonna like brush them out because I don't feel like having like gel on them today. I'm just gonna finish my makeup off with a little bit of lip oil. Okay, that's it for my makeup. I don't really know what to do about my hair okay i think for my hair i'm just gonna run some oil through the ends because i don't know oh my gosh i put hairspray in my hair's like crispy now okay i just like brushed through the curls and i think they look fine i don't know i'll probably fix it later but i have to go so that's it bye guys love you hey guys get rid of me for a party so i have got a party tonight it is literally five ten past sorry ten past five um i meant to be setting off at six right so i'm stressing out i've literally I, I got home like 20 minutes ago if that i just used my original serum and now i'm using my nivea soft cream because it's just simple i love it um it's great my nose piercing is back guys and my lashes are back and my nails are back so yeah i'm happy i need to rush but i don't need to rush this much so i'm just gonna calm down i'll let you straighten my hair in three minutes i'm not even joking i'm gonna use my refi primer because i binned my elf one because i saw on tiktok that gives you spots makes you break out um and i cannot be having that i cannot be having that i'm not spending 58 pounds on skincare and then having a 10 pound primer break my freaking skin out no way gonna use my elf skin tint this is a dupe for charlotte tilbury and i literally love it it just gives my skin that really nice like base um, it covers all my spots up as well. It's full, full, full coverage. It is actually great. But I always put too much on because I just get addicted with putting it all on. I'm literally so excited. 
I'm not even joking. If I wasn't doing a get ready with me right now, I'd probably be like crying or stressing out over something that's like not even like irrelevant. Like probably my, my makeup won't go right and I'd just start crying because that is what I get like. If you don't cry over your hair and makeup when it doesn't go right, then you're not on it, girl. Like you're actually not. Because it's not really a foundation, I'm going to put a tiny bit of my Maybelline foundation on just you know just to give it that full 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 coverage that i'm going for um because i kind of feel like the skin tint isn't actually a foundation it's just like it's like false it's like false fill it's just a base in it really i'm gonna use my cronzer in shade ganache me and gracie are literally been meaning, like meaning to swap um shades for so long now but we just keep forgetting to bring it to each other um so yeah i am using ganache i do love it it's just a bit orange and it's not like my look you know what i mean I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty concealer in shade 290. Um, I love this concealer, full coverage, amazing. Just I feel like I need a lighter colour. Like it's light, don't get me wrong, it's so light, but I like white, like bright white under eyes. Well I don't like living under your spotlight. I'm going to use my Revolution bronzer, which is brand, brand new, with my brand new brush. Um, because, honestly, she just needed a new bronzer, really badly. Because I love looking bronze. I'll show you at the end. Time for Revolution blush. Guys, I'm going to go put my outfit on, and I will be back. This is the outfit. Oh my god. It is a doorbell. Thank you, Elsie, for giving me this. Um, jewelry, sheen, drippy jewels. Um, I cannot actually remember where that is from. Sheen, drippy jewels, Pandora, Pandora. But yeah, this this is the look for today. Bye, guys. Get ready with me while I tell you what it's actually like to film an unscripted reality TV show. So if you already don't know, I am going to be in Lifetime's new series called I Wasn't Expecting a Baby. It airs on February 8th at 10, 9 central. So 10 Eastern time. I was contacted to do the pilot of the show. So everything was filmed in June. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I knew absolutely nothing about the TV industry or anything that goes on on that part of like making TV. So I had no idea what to expect. All I knew was that they were coming to my house, setting up cameras and asking me questions. So first things first, we got a schedule of what the day would look like. So it was like three hours filming me, an hour filming my parents, 30 minutes filming my siblings and another hour filming like one of my friends. So we were up pretty early that day. The day started around 8 a.m., I wanna say. They came in, set up all their equipment, and it was only a few people. It wasn't like just a swarm of people coming in my house. There was probably like five, six people max. So they came in with all these cameras, lights, sound equipment. One thing I noticed when we started filming is they needed it so silent. like. They had to turn our air conditioning off and heat in our house. We had to turn the whole system off so it was like completely silent. But the truth is, it truly is unscripted TV. All they did was ask me a bunch of questions, tell me to tell my story. Of course, if I needed help wording something, they would help me and be like, oh, maybe try saying it this way. Does that feel fine to you? But it was literally all me talking. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, you have to say this, this, and this. Which I did not know that was gonna be the case. I really thought they would kinda just tell you what to say and everything. You know, it's reality TV. Like you think it's all scripted, but it really wasn't, it was all me. And they kinda just repeated the process for my brother, my sister, my parents, and my friend. One of the craziest things that happened and felt so weird to me was they had an actress come in to play my part and I kind of had to like direct her on what happened that night. So this actress was like a lookalike of me. All she had was blonde hair. They don't show her face in like the films. But she came and she pretty much remade 
the whole night like in my room in my bathroom everything so if you see an actress playing me in the show it's not a set it's literally my house but it was also so weird watching her like replay that night in a sense it was like watching it happen all over again and that was just like crazy to me after they were done filming the interview type videos we had to go film what is it called b-roll back roll b-roll like extra little clips of me and maddie so they filmed parts of her room me playing with her pretty much just like candid type videos and i'm so excited to see it i have not seen any of it yet my first time seeing it will also be your first time seeing it so i'm gonna watch it for the first time when it airs on february 8th i have absolutely no idea how it's edited pretty much you kind of just sign everything to them and they do all of that work i didn't even know that the commercial was on tv until you guys commented that you guys saw me on tv so then i went ahead and looked it up like i had no idea that <laughs> i was just in a commercial but overall it was a super cool experience and i'm so glad that i got to do it and i had this opportunity because who else has an opportunity to be on tv not many people so it's really so grateful for the opportunity but i hope you guys like it and tune in and let me know your thoughts let me know if i was uh, meant to be on tv it's actually a lot harder <laughs> than it looks to have that personality in front of a camera <laughs> but anyway tune in february 8th at 10 eastern time for i wasn't expecting a baby on lifetime